Hey everybody, welcome once again to Quest for Glory 3. I am the Blues 32. Let us begin. We shall import our character. It should be in here somewhere. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Ah! Um... Oops, sorry. Yes, try it again. I saw what I did. I saw what I did. Here it is. Your character has successfully been imported. Welcome to Tarna. You have a choice. In Quest for Glory 2, you became a paladin. Do you want to be a paladin in this game or stay a wizard? I would like to stay a wizard this time around, sir. As you recall, his name is Doink. Don't know why his communication is so high. Hmm. Add a bunch to that, I guess. Intelligence. Vitality. Strength, I guess. And yeah, that'll do. I thank you, Rakesha, my prince, for summoning answering my for summoning my answer, answering my summons. I have information for both of you. As you know, three months ago in Rizir, the evil Atavis attempted to unleash the genie Iblis in order to rule the world. Check out this nifty flashback. Atavis stood before his hexagram, preparing to unleash the foul Iblis to do his bidding. Why is it a hexagram? Hear me, O oh dark powers! Light the darkness and bind Iblis to me forever! I don't remember the voice I gave him. I never do. Yoink! You entered the room and broke the seal of Solomon by, rem by moving the candle. You idiot! You have destroyed my spell! Now you shall be destroyed! Your spell reversal protected you from his spells. Unfortunately, Adavis also had a spell to reflect spells. No! No, Master, help me! You bounced your spell off the wall and into the flaming brazier, knocking Adavis to the, his doom below. When Adavis died, his magical power was released and I could sense the moment of his death. Such a release of power could be felt by skilled magic users all over the world. Still, there is some mystery concerning the death of Adavis. Hi! It is very disturbing that the body of Adavis could not be found. Even with all my magic, I cannot determine who or what removed the body or what became of it afterwards. I believe the unbinding of Adavis's power could have well have other, darker results. Now we are again in my house in Shapir, Hero. You have become the Prince of Shapir by order of Sultan Har Harun al-Rashid. Rakish now desires to return to his home in Tarna. Last night I received this message from the sorceress Karisha in Tarna. Please tell... I don't know what kind of voice to hear. Please tell Rakesh that he must return quickly to Tarna. There is serious talk of war here, and I think only Rakesh can now bring peace. I believe there is more to this war than just the anger of two tribes. I believe that a demon has again broken through to this land and seeks to destroy us all. In three days, a magical portal will open in Shapir to take Rakesh back to Tarna. I suggest that if you, Prince of Shapir, wish to truly be a hero, you accompany Rakesh. 
Yeah, sure, raise that over my head. If you want to be a hero, you better... If there is indeed a demon, it is probable it was released into this world by the death of Adavis. You must stop it and send it back to its own world. So I guess this technically counts as filler. This whole game. Palace of, of Sultan of Shapir, three days later. It greatly grieves me to say farewell to such fine friends and honored guests. Rikish, you were a great aid to me, and I sorrow to see you return to Tana. Oh, great Sultan, it's been an honor to serve you. Oh, a warrior of the Simbani, you have been a most excellent guildmaster for the Adventures Guild and a gifted instructor of combat. Thank you for your services to, 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 to Shapir. I leave Shapir with a great treasure, my son Simba. I never forget this place, but it will be good to go home again. My son, it breaks my heart to see you leave. You will always have a home here in Shapir. Thanks, Dad. My gift comes for your leaving comes from the gnome. Keep on laughing. I ex asked him... I asked him for something you would find useful. May it serve you well. Hugs. I will. I will be avoiding Sultan. The magical port. The magical portal to Tarna appears. Farewell, may all. Farewell, all of you. May you find the peace you seek. I should really watch my videos back again to see what voices I give these people. But anyway, I will not be reading all of the dialogue and going through the whole branches and everything. That that will just take too long. I played this as a paladin, you can watch that. I'll basically just be skipping the irrelevant stuff, which is a lot. Good to see you again, Karisha. It's good to be with you again, Rakish. Karisha, you have met Ura of the Simbani village before. This is her son, Simba. How about you, warrior? It's good to see you again, Ura. That son of yours looks like a strong and healthy young cub. Missouri, Karisha, thank you for helping me to return. Simba and I need to get back to my people. Kwa Hirani. Here, here I worry of her. Farewell, her. Man, I already screwed up the joke voice. <clears throat> this is the this was the young hero about whom Azar spoke with you. He is the adopted prince of Shapir and a most honorable man. I am most honored to meet you, Prince Shapir. I can sense that you are also skilled with magic. Know, however, that the usage of magic is forbidden upon the streets of Tarna in order to protect those without magic. Well, that's grand. Hmm. Okie dokie. Why is this taking so long? Okay, that's worrying. This is supposed to run better than it did than it used to. This is a different computer. You greet Karisha. You will always be welcome in our house, young hero. Hello, Shapir! You talk about your experiences in Japir and how you defeated out of East. The Enchantress as I spoke to me about Avis. You must indeed be a hero to defeat such a wicked wizard. Tarna. Magic. Portal. Spell. Ritual. Quiche. Council. Raja. Yada yada yada. Uh, 
Eh. Is there no point counter in this game? I don't know why I'm saving again. It's it's a habit. I blame Space Quest V. As I may have mentioned in Space Quest V, when I originally played it, I didn't realize it was supposed to be played on DOS. And I ran it through Windows, and it ran horribly. You could expect it to crash like every five seconds. Not five seconds. Well, maybe maybe two, three minutes. I'm not exaggerating. I have reserved a room in your name at the inn nearby. I guess you are eager to explore our city. Farewell, Prince of Shapir. Farewell, my friend. In two days, I will stand before the Council of Judgment and speak of peace. I would like you to be there as well. Then we can journey together to the Simbani village. In the meantime, explore and enjoy Tarna. If you have any questions, you will find us here. Enter freely. You will be welcome at any time. Uh, well, almost any time. After all, Rikish and I need some time to... Uh, speak with one another after such a long parting. Good day. No one will spot me. The joke is that I'm easily spotted right now. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. What's this? That old keep on what a joker you say to yourself. That's an interesting wrapping paper design. In fact, as you look at it more carefully, you realize that it is spell that a spell is written on it. You read the spell and the paper disappears. You now know the juggling light spell. Fairly useful spell, actually. Especially in dark areas. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh well, at least the audio bounce will be good. You enter the north end of the bazaar and witness a dispute. What are you doing? That's not right. Stop him! Thief! Thief! Please accompany us to the Hall of Judgment. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice, you are led by the guard to the Hall of Judgment to attend the Judgment of the Thief. The Council of Judgment has determined that you, Harry, Harry and me, have broken the laws of Tarna by taking things that do not be that belong to others. You have shown yourself to be without honor. Do you have anything you wish to say before you are named honorless? Hey, <laughs> big deal. Then by the Judgment Council and the Laws of Tarna, you, Harry, are now formally named Honorless. So you have acted, so you shall be. The Honorless One must leave the Hall. Clearly, he's heartbroken. The Council of Judgment now summons the Prince of Shabir. The Prince of Shabir aided my guards in the capture of the Honorless One. The Council of Judgment commends the Prince of Shapir's actions on behalf of Tana and thanks him. King Raja orders Rakesh and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. You may enter into the presence of Raja Satana. Raja Satana, I stand before you. Rakesh Satana, you stand before me in honor. Crap. Did it again. I did that the same. Mm. You tell the king that you are honored to be in his presence. 
and should appear you stand before me in honor. Rakesh, you have brought this Prince of Shapir to help you bring peace. How can a human be of such service to a lion tar? So, human, how do you propose to help Rakesh? Karisha is the magic creature of this land. Do you think you can out-enchant her? You answer Raj's question. Very well. So this Prince of Shapir has come to bring peace and harmony to Tarn. You grow too old, Rakesh, if you must depend upon a human for help. Your age has made you cowardly and taken away your honor. Defend, Rakesh. You defend Rakesh's bravery and honor. You now need a human to speak up for you now. You need a human to speak up for you now, Rakesh? I do not need to defend myself to you of all people, Raja. Rakesh, you of anyone should be demanding war instead of talking about peace. Rishaka is lost. Your own daughter has been killed by the leopard men. Do you not want revenge? The truth of what happened to to Rishika has not been determined. And I know for certain about Rishika, I will deal with the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war from my daughter. Revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless. Mindless revenge is pure stupidity. Rakesh, you... Human, do you have anything important to add to this conversation? You speak of how Rakesh helped you in Shapir. You are fortunate, Rakesh, to have such a defender of your honor. Human, you may leave our presence now. I wish to speak further to Rakesh. Bye bye It's funny how their statues clearly have lion heads, but their bodies are human. Shouldn't they be lion tar statues? Uh, no, you shut up. I see that you are in need of a new weapon. I have one just right for you. Here is the finest of daggers. It too is made of Damascus steel. It too is sharper than a serpent's tooth. It is small enough to be concealed up your sleeve to be ready when your foe least expects it. I have without a doubt the best weapons of, for sale in all of Tana. If you will be needing a weapon, I am the man you should see. Come, take a look and buy what you like. I would, but I have no money. I can't even begin to say that. Fendi, good day. I am the money changer, Dahab Kalis. Do you wish to exchange some foreign coin for the money of Tarna? Yes. Exchange to royals. Kechi Kare Mamnanim, Fendi. Many thanks. I swear this game just freaks me out, man. Not it doesn't freak me out, it 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 worries me, is what I meant to say. Hajumbo Buana. Msuri Buana. I'm sure I'm not even saying that even, like, sort of right. Two? Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Bargain. Purchase. Let me see how many of these water skins I'm currently carrying. Just the one, huh? Yeah, I'll need more than that. 
I was wondering maybe I brought over the ones I had before. Apparently this is not so. I don't understand why that why that's put in as a um, commons instead of just just say what it is. It's two royals. Stop making me do math. Fruit, fruit, the finest of fruit. Does your mouth not crave the sweet juices of a passion fruit, Effendi? Hello? Fruit? No thanks, don't need it. Fine spear. Yeah, I'm a pretty good bargainer, no, 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 no. Eh, let's talk to him real quick. I don't like how you have to keep going back into the, uh... Wait, what? I have some Conquest brand arrows in stock. Unfortunately, they are for the longbow. I'm sure these are references to other Sierra games, but I don't know what they are. Um, Mighty King? Well, he rhymes a lot. I don't know if he's mighty. Oh god, here I have to go again. <clears throat> Hello, young man, you... Look like you could use some most of our... Look at me. Pop, these items aren't new. You know that. I didn't say they were new, dummy. I said they were mostly new. In the world of sales, you gotta learn to accentuate the positive. In other words, lie. I didn't say that! You wanna blow this sale? Just sh Just you listen and keep your mouth shut. As I was saying, we have the finest selection of mostly new items in the land of Tarn. What can I sell you? You can't charge me for sightseeing. I shall buy a tinder box. A box of tindering. Okay, it's a deal. What do you mean it's okay? You wanna lose all our money, dummy? I'm coming, Elizabeth. I'm coming soon. Our only son is trying to give away all the things we work for. This is it. This is the big one. Talk to you, I guess. Shut up. Merchandise. Sorry. Rumors. Junk dealers. Bye. How about the one I'm closest to? A glorious and sweet lovely day, kind sir. Can I sweeten your life today? You can indeed. That will do nicely, good sir. I'm trying to make him sound overly sweet. Am I selling it? Do you believe the words that I say? Well, you shouldn't. I am a terrible, terrible liar. But then again, I could be lying about that. Th 
this statement is false. Hey, man. Oh, hi. You must be the prince Shapiro people are talking about. Wow, I've never met a real prince before. Welcome to my pocket there, prince. Hey, man. Oh, hey, good to see you, man. Name, numerology, pocket theory, help, aura, pews, healing, feather, honeybird, nonviolence. Poison cure, mana, potions. I'm I'm really a lot more into pills than potions. China doesn't have a recycling center for potion bottles, I'm afraid. They're a little behind the times, you know? But hey, I think I do have a recipe for one potion around here somewhere. Did your horoscope say anything about needing a potion to dispel magic anytime soon? Wow, I never sold one of those. I don't need to look it up in my book. Hey, man, check out in this pharmacopoeia. Wow, man, I've already got most of this stuff. There's the bee's knees and ibis's eyelashes and a clear... Amethyst... I don't know how to say that. Ameth amethyst crystal. Out of sight. So like, all I need now is some water from the pool of peace, a gift from the heart of the world, and oh yuck, the heart of the fruit of a venomous vine. That shouldn't be too much of a problem for a hero like you, though, should it? Okay, plants, feelings, tree, dream. Spell potion, ingredients, water, full of peace, gift of the heart, fruit, vine. I'm Vine, how are you? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Tell about how you helped the enchanted tree woman jewel and all regain some hope while you were in Shapir. How extraordinary! The girl in my dreams is real! I'm so thrilled to hear it! I'll leave for Shapir on the next caravan there! I must stand up for some reason. Oh wow. One will do. Not a lot of things poison you. Yeah, the rest can wait till some other time. Goodbye. Long live and prosper. Alright, what time is it? Almost the end of day one. And I still have some stuff to buy. Beads, beads, very fine beads. I shall buy your beads, and not bother to bargain because I know you don't speak English very well. Good katakirif imeni fendi. You really can't bargain with her, no matter how good your skill is. She just doesn't understand what you're saying. No, I don't need your rope. I can levitate.
Greetings, Effendi. May I interest you in my carvings of wood? Greet. Tell of Shapir. It is such a pleasure to hear news of my homeland. I cannot express my happiness from your story. For you. Thank you for your kindness in bringing me this note from my Aunt Shima. It is so wonderful to have news of home. It is sad to be so far from Shapir and those I care for. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but whatever. You decided to buy the carved leopard. It will give me great pleasure to give you this leopard as a gift, my friend. I hope you will accept it as a token of our friendship. Carvings... Damn it! Stop clicking myself! Guitar... Bizarre... Rumors... Sapphire pin... Goodbye... Hello, overly enthusiastic dog. Good day, Master! How many of this worse the son of a dog serve you? Perhaps you'd like some... Some meat? May I please sell you some meat? Please, 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 please! You greet the meat seller. Hello, hello, hello! Oh, hello, master! He's a happy dog. And he accepts any price you offer him. So you'll always have plenty of meat. I I don't even No. Please no. Meat? You want to know about my meat? You actually want to know about my meat? Oh, how wonderful. How glorious. You're asking me, miserable monger of a meat merchant, of me about my meat. Yes, this is meat, the meat for you. It is the flesh for a pharaoh, mate, made for monarchs, the sustenance of sultans. Excuse me. We have rump roast of rhino, withers of wildebeest, an eight ankle of antelope. There's stew of the gnu and the zebu too. There's fillet of frog and foot of warthog, the tongue of a tapir done in by a rapier. I have the brain of a baboon, the lungs of a loon, the heart of a hippopotamus, and the pancreas of a pl platypus. Choose from cold cuts of camels, sliced slivers of sloth, my choice of chops of cheeto or bush bucks and broth. Care for elephant fritters or porcupine pie, an ounce of fresh ostrich or bandicoot thigh. They're all to be eaten if you, only you'll buy, but if you won't buy them, I swear that I'll cry. On second thought, you'd rather not know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, rumors. Meat seller. Bye. How do you sell anything? Good day, Effendi. I shall buy a robe. Gotta buy that stuff ahead of time. You don't have to, I suppose, but I do. Robes. Clothes. Eh, whatever. Here you go, buddy. I like how, in this one, it doesn't use stamina to be stealthy. I don't like how long it's taking me to boot to go up in uh, my level, though. Don't want to talk to you about your fish. There's only one thing I want to do right now. It's 
go to the temple. Talk to Almac. And seek the shrine of the silver monkey. I'm supposed to be bringing that back or something. Turning into a movie or something like that. Legends of the Hidden Temple. God, that was so long ago. How dare a human defile the sanctity of the Temple of Sekhmet! Be gone! Leave this temple before the goddess Sekhmet herself smites you for this blasphemy! In my temple you will speak only my words, not your own, beloved. Human doer, changer of worlds, releaser of darkness, thou hast not yet been judged, and a future can not yet be weighed. Yet thou hast already created a future for weal or woe. Should it be woe, then the Tower of Sultana will fall, and the blood of my Lion Tower people will flood the savannah. For the darkness before us rises from the darkness behind you, and you must confront that darkness. Yet more I cannot see until you are judged. Leave now and return with the Gem of the Guardian. You shall then be weighed and judged, and a future can be seen. When you have been judged, we will reveal a future for you to make or unmake. I leave. And then I end my video. I am the Blues32. This is Quest for Glory 3. As a wizard. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.